So as we know, on Saturday night, David Bernavides defeated Alexander Govstick via unanimous decision. And yes, as you can tell by the title, I have seen a few claims from people on social media, a minority, by the way, not, not many, but people are saying that this David Bernavides versus Alexander Govstick fight was fixed. And I think it's completely embarrassing to say that. I'm not going to lie. It's just, I, I, I think it's ridiculous comments. Like, I think criticism of Bernavides' performance, you can ju definitely justify it. Like, I'm not going to argue with people criticising David Bernavides' performance. Overall, though, I don't think Bernavides was too bad. I just feel like people wanted to, wanted to see Bernavides knock Alexander Govstick out. But the guy's a tough operator. Like, he is. Yes, you know, the guy's probably kind of past it now. He's past his best. But he's a tough, tough, tough man, though. That's the thing. And yes, Govstick skills aren't there. But they haven't been for his past few fights, though. Like, I think Govstick fought in like an eight eight rounder coming into this fight and he didn't exactly look too great in that one anyway but and yes yeah, so i get you know you can be you can't criticize david bernavides i'm not saying that of course you can i don't think bernavides was too bad though he completely outclassed gobstick just didn't get the knockout which he should have done though and yes people are questioning his power at uh, 175 i'm not gonna i'm not gonna argue with you but people saying this was a fixed fight in what way like yes it's a minority but people have been saying it people have been saying it and you know some people on youtube some people on insta some people on x i've seen claims about it first of all why would alexander uh got uh gostick uh fix a fight he surrounds himself with people like Alexander Rusik. Someone like Alexander Rusik is not going to let like one of his, you know, fellow Ukrainian like teammates go out there and fix a fight. Like, you know, Alexander Rusik's not going to let that happen. And Gostik as well. Like, he's a former world. He's a former world champion. Like, why would he want to fix a fight himself? And also the fact that this is a massive fight for Gostik as well to try and get himself back into the mix. Why would he want to, you know, fix the fight and lose on purpose? He just wouldn't do that. The guy's just not the same as he was. Simple as that. He's not. Did people watch his most recent fight before this? I believe he fought in an eight-rounder. Like, you know, did people not see that? Do people Are people not aware that the guy is basically 40 years old now? Like... Yes, like looking at his box track here, looking at Gostick's bo uh, box track here, he hasn't, before this David Bernavides fight, ever since he lost to Artaberta Biev, the guy hadn't fought in a 12 round fight. He fought in a six round fight after his loss to Bernavides. Then he went back and fought in a 10 round fight against Belotniks. Then against Isaac Rodriguez, he went on and fought in an eight rounder and didn't look great in that against Belotniks. He didn't look great. Gostick then went on and fought someone with a 20 and 34 record after the Berta Bia fight. And again, didn't look perfect. Gostick isn't known for his power or anything like that. Then he beat Belonics, yes. But he what he, he looked slower in that though, uh Goistick. Then he fought Rodriguez. He looked slow in that fight. He looked slow in the David Bernavides fight. What's the point that people are making here about the fight being fixed? Goistick doesn't have, he doesn't have much left in the tank. He's old, but he's still a tough, tough, tough man. And he's tough to knock out. Like, you know, Bern, uh, Bern to be able to fully wear him down to get him out of there. Um, you know, and, you know, Goistick's still a real tough operator. He's a tough man. But yes, his offense is nowhere near as what it used to be. And that was expected going into this fight. Simple as that. And also, another thing is, why would David Bernavides want to rig a fight? You know, the guy wants to prove himself. He wants to, you know, get a legacy in this sport. You know, he's going on about wanting that Canelo fight. Why would he rig a fight? And, you know, he wants to, you know, prove to himself that he wants to get up to, you know, the big boys in the division, like Dimitri Bivol, like Hart Bertabia. 
Benavidez wants to prove this to himself. What's he going to do rigging a fight? Second of all, Benavidez is Mexican. What Mexican do you see rig a fight? Mexicans are all tough as nails. They're not going to rig a fight. Like, and exactly why would Guyves State want to do that as well? Like, and why would PBC do that? I don't see, I don't get why people are coming out with these claims. I think they're absolutely embarrassing. Like, yes, Bernavides probably should have got Guyves State out of there. And that, but if it was a fixed fight, how didn't Bernavides get him out of there? That's the thing as well. If it was fixed, like people are claiming, we would have seen Ghost it take a dive and it would have ended um, inside the distance. Bernard, why would they rig a fight for for Bernavides to not look, not Ghost stick out and not make the statement that he was hoping to make? Like, fixed fight claims don't make any sense to me when it comes to this fight. They, they literally don't make any sense to me at all. And yes, people, people are saying this. People are saying this. There are people on YouTube saying it. There are people on YouTube saying it. I've seen comments. I've seen the odd um, YouTuber saying it as well. Uh, there, and, you know, people on X, people on Insta. People are saying that this was a rig. Some, a minority amount of people, by the way. The majority of people I've just seen criticizing Bernadette's performance. That's it. But a, min a small minority of people have been saying that this fight is rigged. But I don't see, I don't see how it is though, because the outcome would have been completely different if it would have been. And second of all, no, these guys aren't going to rig a fight anyway, though. So I don't, I don't see what happened. I, I don't see why it would be rigged. I, I, I don't see why, especially with the result it ended in as well. Goistic just hasn't got it anymore. Have people not watched his? You know, most have, have people have people not watched him since he lost to Bertabiev? That's the question. Have people not watched his recent three fights? He's looked rusty in all of them. Ever, ever since he lost to Bertabiev, he's looked rusty in all of them. He looked rusty again there. And as I said, you can criticize Bernavides. But yeah, and but you know, yes, you can criticize Bernavides. But you know, Bernavides was in full control of that fight no matter what. So, he, but, you know, I get the criticism. Bernardino's box well in the fight, showed good defense. But, yes, you know, we ideally do want to see more power from Bernardino's, though. That's the thing. I'm just saying it, putting the point across, how is this fight fixed? And the majority of people saying that are absolutely embarrassing themselves. How on earth was it fixed? It, nothing adds up to it. Nothing adds up to it. But, yeah, anyway. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you all for tuning in. And yeah, I'll speak to you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.